Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been maintaining doctrine of three carrier based force structures so that it can operate two of them in maritime zones on either side of Indian coastline that is eastern and western coasts. An aircraft carrier moves along with its carrier battle group which consists of submarines, destroyers and other warships. It is capable of projecting air power beyond shore deep inside the ocean. It is a complete military theater with inherent flexibility and mobility to shift to new theater of operation within 48 to 72 hours. The three aircraft carrier will ensure no gap in operational capability. If one aircraft carrier goes for maintenance, which may sometimes take several months, the other two aircraft carrier can ensure the eastern and western seaboard. Now, during Agenda Astak 2022 in the month of December, the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has told that the planning had started for second indigenous aircraft carrier after the big achievement of INS Vikrant. The requirement of third aircraft carrier for Indian Navy has also been acknowledged by the Standing Committee on Defence. However, the biggest question for Navy is to decide whether it will go for a second aircraft carrier of same tonnage as Vikrant that is close to 44,000 tons or a higher tonnage warship of 65,000 tons. Now, designing and constructing an aircraft carrier of 65,000 ton is a bigger task than constructing second Vikrant class aircraft carrier. The issue with INS Vikrant has been known to us and the warship very frequently undergoes maintenance. The warship hull will be reaching age of 50 years in 2032. Now, as the ship ages out, its maintenance becomes more frequent and costly. It becomes more of a liability than an asset. Therefore, Navy would look to decommission the carrier after 2032, leaving it with only one aircraft carrier and its Vikrant. At the same time, China has planned to have 10 aircraft carriers by 2050. Therefore, Navy needs to act soon and start construction of an aircraft carrier as a replacement of Vikramaditya. Considering multiple factors, including construction time and cost involved, Indian Navy has decided to go for repeat order of IAC-1, that is Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 1, which is of Vikrant class. Speaking to media during Aero India Show 2023, Admiral R. Harikumar confirmed by saying, initially, we will go for repeat order with improved capabilities and in meantime, we will go for study of larger carriers. He also said that the IAC-2 should be bigger than IAC-1 in size and the size of INS Vikrant is around 44,000 ton and we wanted IAC-2 to be around 65,000 ton. When we have to design a new aircraft carrier, it will take time and we have to bring in new technologies and for new design, the shipbuilding facility will have to be upgraded. So we thought if we went for repeat order, the work would start soon. So in summary, Navy is going ahead with repeat order of IAC-1 as a placement of INS Vikramaditya and will continue to study 65,000 ton class aircraft carrier, which is the realistic way to proceed. Also, 65,000 ton aircraft carrier will most likely use catapult mechanism to launch aircraft rather than ski jump mechanism. The experience and skills gained from the construction of IAC-1 that is INS Vikrant by Cochin Shipyard Limited has been significant. Though the first aircraft carrier took 13 years to build, CSL is confident in delivering second aircraft carrier same as INS Vikrant that is 45,000 ton capability in just 8 years. In an exclusive interview with CNBC TV 18 in September 2022, Madhu Nair, Chairman and Managing Director of CSL revealed that third aircraft carrier could be manufactured in just 8 years compared to 13 years that it took for INS Vikrant. CSL is confident in building the aircraft carrier that uses the electromagnetic aircraft launch system that is EMAILS adopted in the aircraft carriers of US Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.